Hello everybody. What I'm doing today is a dev vlog, kind of showing off what I've been working on lately. So if you'll be noticing, I haven't been doing too many tutorials lately, and the reason for that is I'm trying to learn a new engine, and that's taking up a lot of my time, and I'm also trying to learn how to code, so that's taking up a lot of my time, and it just means I'm not really in Blender so much, so... Um, of course, that means that I am not coming up with any new cool things I can do tutorials on right now, so that's why you're seeing less Blender uh, game engine tutorials. But anyway, I thought I'd go ahead and show off what I have been making. So this is the start of my game, so I'm going to go ahead and play it. So this is just a quick menu I made. It's nothing amazing, just got some old artwork I made, just put that there. Um, you can see here, got this, this doesn't actually work yet, um, but we'll leave that. You can go full screen, but it doesn't record correctly when I do that, so I'm going to leave that. Um, of course you can exit the game, but the main thing is playing the game, of course, so this is a really basic menu. Now right now it's just going to block the whole game, the whole game's going to stop until it loads in the scene. Um, later on I want to have a little loading bar. But I currently don't know how to do that. So, um, if you do know how to use Godot and you do know how to use that, I would love to know how to be able to like dynam dynamically load it in without like stopping the whole game. But anyway, I'm going to click play game. As you can see here, here's my game. Um, you could say that it's not really... Oh, man, it's not really the best. It's not amazing. There isn't a lot here. Um... The main reason I am quite happy with what I've done is I created this first person look and also created this uh, just to kind of walking around and stuff. Now it's not amazing but I have never ever made like a first person look kind of thing so I'm really happy that I figured that out. As well as this, this is in Godot and um, I've been trying to learn the scripting language so that's also great. Um, I guess I kind of made this little water. It's kind of coolish, except you've got the problem where you can see the gun under the water, even though it's not under the water. Anyway, um, so yeah, this is my basic game. Um, not much going on. I'm still trying to think about what I can do for story and all that kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, it's a pretty basic game. I'm going to put some shooting, have some actual AI that works, and... I did have a car here, but I seem to have disabled it by accident um, before this tutorial. Anyway, oh well. But yeah, this is my basic game, and you can see I can pause it. Um, yeah, that. But of course, the background thing still works because it. I didn't set that up, so it just keeps moving. But the game is actually paused. Um, if I can kind of show it. So this physics can be broken here, but look, I can go pause, and it's going to pause the game, and I can go reset. Um, so this is a real basic game. But anyway, this is my first devlog in, on my first Godot game. Uh, yeah, so that's why you haven't been so, seeing so many tutorials from me lately, is I'm just learning a new engine, so that's taking up a lot of time. But anyway, um, give me feedback on my game, and what do you think I could do to improve it? Uh, whatever but yeah so I will see you next time with uh, another devlog or a tutorial or whatever I'm doing but um, yeah so have a great week keep making games and I will see you another time